This video is a reference video to be used by my other content and explain the basics about programming ESP chips. In this video we will cover a few sections, so feel free to jump to the section relevant for you. The first one is setting up the Arduino IDE and configure it for the ASP8266. Next one is setting up the Arduino IT for Blink. The third section is picking the right FTDI programmer and using it. And then finally, there are some tips and tricks and frequently asked questions. At the recording of this video, the current version of Arduino IDE is 1.8.5 and the ASP library is 2.3.0. If the future versions of either of these tools cause significant change, I will post a follow-up video and you should see the card appearing to that video now. First, you need to download the Arduino IDE. Go to www.arduino.cc and click on the software in the top menu scroll down to the Arduino IDE. It is available in multiple platforms. I will focus on Windows in this video. Click on the link for your preferred platform, wait for the installer to download and just install it like any other application. Once the installation is complete, open the application. SparkFun has a good article setting up the Arduino IDE for ESP8266. The link to this post in the video description. First, you need to install an add-on board manager, which is in the menu under File and Preferences. Paste this URL into the board manager. Now, go to Tools, Boards and Board Manager and search for ASP8266. Click on ASP8266 by the ASP8266 community and then click Install. You will see the Install button where I have Remove. If everything is OK, you should see a lot of ESP boards under the Tools boards when you scroll down in this list. I will talk about which boards to select in each video. Whenever you program an ESP, you need to select the COM port. You can find a port number in the computer management, but the easiest thing to do is to unplug the ESP or the FTDI programmer, see what ports are available in the menu, plug the board back in and see what is the new port appearing. If you want to use Blink for your ESP, you need to follow the below steps after your Arduino IDE is installed. Go to www.blink.cc slash getting dash started. First you can install the Android or the iOS app and then create an account. Just follow the on-screen instructions. These are self-explanatory. Next, scroll further down in this page and click on the download Blink library. Scroll down to Blink Release down in the Download section. In the zip file there will be a Tools and the Libraries folder. Now you need to extract these to the same folders uh, in your Arduino library folder. If you don't know where it is, go, uh, go to Files and Preferences in the IDE and then you can see it on the top, of the, uh, on the top called Sketchbook Location. In there you see your Libraries and Tools folder. Extract the contents of the zip file here. How many ASP8266 chips available on the market? Some of them, like the VMOS D1 Mini or the Node MCU, has a USB serial chip integrated and therefore can be uh, programmed by simply plugging in a USB cable, which is on the board. Others, like the original ASP01 or Sonoff or the H801, have the chip only with the serial lines routed out to test points. Programming this chip requires an FTDI programmer, which converts the USB port signal levels acceptable to the chip. The ESP works on 3.3 volts, therefore you need a programmer which works on 3.3 volts. A 5 volt version will break the ESP chip. Just put 3.3 volt USB programmer into eBay, AliExpress or your favorite web shop. There are many different shapes and sizes available. There are versions which have the USB plug, others would have the mini USB socket. Pick the one that works for you. I got mine which has a USB plug, so it doesn't require an extra cable. On the other side of the programmer, uh, usually there are male pins. Look at the images and check that it has 3.3 volts, TX, RX and ground pins available. Some programmers may have a selector switch to switch between 3.3 volts and 5 volts, other would have a separate 3.3 volt and a 5 volt pin. These modules usually come with an a CH340 or a CP1202 USB to serial chip. Most Windows versions should already have these drivers available, but if the unit is not detected, just make Windows to search for the drivers or just Google for the driver. To connect the programmer with an ASP, you need some DuPont female to female cables. Just get a smaller assortment with different colors. You need some 0.1 inch 
uh, male straight pin headers to solder into the connection pads on the Sonoff or other devices. Your DuPont cables into those. This should get you started. Working with a unit like a Sonoff which runs on main power, make sure that you never connect it to the main power and then use the USB programmer at the same time. Otherwise you may blow up your laptop. If you are getting some errors during programming, you might have plugged the TX and the RX wire the wrong way around. Um, just swap these wires over and try again. Your FTDR programmer or your USB Pro may not be able to provide enough power uh, for the ESP chip to work correctly. Some people reported that their Sonoff would not connect to the Wi-Fi when they are powering it from the FTDI. In this case, disconnect the programmer, run it from the proper power supply or the mains power, depending on the unit. This makes debugging and small changes a little bit tedious because you have to you know, plug and unplug them every single time. The ESP8266 supports only 2.5 GHz Wi-Fi. If your router is set to 5 GHz only, the ESP will not connect. This also applies uh, to your phone, tablet or laptop. If it's only turned on for 5, uh, 5 GHz, it will not find the access point created by the ESP.